All right, it's Saturday, and I'm going to take you through a day in my life living by myself in San Francisco as a 20-year-old. I started off the day by welcoming my friend Ubby to San Francisco, and then we walked to get breakfast at this very nice spot where I had like coffee, right now, chicken sausages, to. toast, hash browns, I eggs, and a to. very, very good pancake. All right, we just had breakfast, and now we're going to go to the Museum of Modern Art in San Francisco. Why? It's so we can make fun of the art and then say that we could probably do it knowing that we very well can't. Ubby? We probably could. I have full faith in myself. All right, we'll let you know when we get to the museum. I mean, actually, they probably won't let us take video, but whatever, we'll try. The walk to the art museum was pretty uneventful, but once we got to the art museum, we found out there was free admission, which was great, only for the second floor, but that's fine. And then we just walked around looking at all the art pieces, and unfortunately, most of them were actually good, and we couldn't make fun of them. There were a few that we probably could have made ourselves, but still, it was a very cool experience, and this was the first art museum that I've been to in waking memory, and I would highly recommend you guys go to one if you can. We're on our way to get Akshat. We just yeah. went to the museum. It was pretty chill. It was free also, which is very, very nice because you don't want to be spending that much money in a single day, bucks. even if you're at Point City. Yeah, 30 bucks would have been a normal ticket, but the second floor was free and there was actually pretty cool art. We could have done some of it, but not all of it. And now we're about to go head to Chinatown. I forgot to vlog getting food in Chinatown, but this cost me $13 and 60 cents, I think, and it's a lot of food. I'll put the actual numbers up here somewhere, but it's a lot of food and it's gonna taste good. Got my classic order from the place, shrimp dumplings, scallion pancakes, and chow mein. It was very, very good. I saved the chow mein for later so that I could eat it for dinner at a future time. We also ended up getting tea and ice cream and then just enjoyed the weather in general because at this point in time, the sun had actually come out and it was no longer cloudy and ugly. All right, we had lunch. We also had, I don't know, ice cream and I had tea. These two had ice cream. Yeah, it was good. I like my tea. And now we're heading towards Fisherman's Wharf and just walking along the bay to be real tourists. I think the best part about living in San Francisco so far has been how good the weather is on average. It's a little bit chillier right now than it usually is, or so I've heard, but it's still been great, except for the times when it's gloomy, but that happens everywhere. It's done wonders for my mood, and I think I've already said that in a previous video. And even though I do live alone, I live in a studio with no roommates, I do have friends, so I manage to hang out with those friends on the weekends, because otherwise I would be living a very sad life, because living by yourself gets boring very quickly. Alright, you're liquid. on. You're on. No, but you can just explain it. It's a hole here. Oh, no, right-handed people can't drink. Oh my god. But if you're left-handed... Crazy. We continued our journey by doing more touristy things like walking along the bay and looking out to Alcatraz and then also going to see some sea lions that were there for reasons that I still don't know because I was too lazy to look them up. Afterwards, we went on to a submarine and I'll just let myself in the past explain to you what that was like. This is so tiny. It is so tiny. Not built for a tall man. Not no. built for tall no. men. Aren't there... Look how tiny this entrance is. And for reference, here's a six foot two man going through the entrance. I don't know why I was surprised that the submarine was so cramped. I mean, it was an enclosed space underwater. But anyways, afterwards we went to an arcade. We got two strong young men. Dude, you're gonna break the machine. Honestly, afterwards, we just continued doing a lot more touristy stuff, including going to Ghirardelli Square. Again, you've already seen that in one of my last two vlogs, I think. And then we also went to go to Lombardi Street, which is the curvy street that you've probably seen in pictures. That was a pretty cool experience. The trek up was very long, though, because it was a steep hill. Regardless, we made the trek, and it was a very good view that we were rewarded with. Afterwards, I just ordered Grubhub for dinner and then ate that with Ubby, and that was my day. Not super exciting, but it was a great day nonetheless.